Good morning everybody, KC3QPJ here. It's December 3rd, Friday of 2021. And I uh, just wanted to do another video real quick with the Anytone 878 and 578 programming. All of which can, uh, you know, uh, be done via your programming software. And what we're going to do today is uh, we are going to create a talk group. So sorry, I'm looking at my software while I'm trying to record the video. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and uh, get into the software here. If it'll load up. Let's see if it's going to load up here. Yep, so it's going to load up. Anyway, um, what this will do, which I left out of the other video, and I feel really bad because I was trying to be de as detailed as possible. Talk Group 99 is the talk group that you're going to want to use for... Uh, DMR simplex and uh, you have to create that talk group in order for it to work um, everything that I everything else that I did say about the programming for that particular channel for DMR simplex was correct so uh, let's get back on our screen here and I'll show you uh, where I made the mistake and we'll go ahead and correct that and I'll show you how to create that talk group so have some special guests behind me today, and uh, wife is home too. So, uh, if you hear anything in the background, it's either going to be the cats or my wife. So, let's go ahead and uh, get into our software here. Okay, so let's uh, let's page down here to our uh, DMR um, simplex channels. I believe they're down here near the 750s. Okay, yep, here they are. All right, so. Let me show you what I forgot to, to help you create. DMR simplex 2 meters. This is your contact. If you see when you're hovering your arrow around it, you see how it says 99 group call. I had to create group 99. Um, I don't believe it came programmed into the software as a uh, contacts list when you import your contacts list which I will do a video on how to do that because the contact list is constantly uh, changing and updating so this is the one thing I forgot to show you how to do receive group list you don't need anything in here this is correct time slot one color code one that's also correct but we got to show you how to create this for your simplex now i put i i named it dmr simplex for two meter but you might want to rename that uh simplex period uh, uh contact for dmr simplex i don't know why i labeled a two meter and i think the main reason i did if you see my channels here <coughs> two meters both the channels that i have and i i'm going to rename this talk group so to create a talk group go here to digital maximize your digital with the little plus sign there here's your contact talk groups you can highlight that and as you see all these here now if you click on here you could scroll down like this and this is all the contacts that I have in here so far I think I only have like 200 maybe a little over not a whole lot because I didn't want to bring it in but you will create a talk group the same way you do uh, adding a, a channel okay so right here this TG DMR ID this talk group or DMR ID one or the other okay so in order to create the talk group Double click on the next available slot, and there you go. It'll ask for the ID, call type, name type, contact one, and uh, that's how that works. Okay, and then you can set a call alert, but we're not going to. But let's correct the one that I did so that we know <coughs> that it is my simplex talk group, because as you can see. I have it labeled DMR Simplex 2 meter. 
but that's too generalized because 99 is going to work on 70 centimeter and it's going to work on two meters as well it's not limited so let's go ahead and highlight that I'm going to change the name of this we can do that and uh, we're gonna name it uh, just a uh, simplex we'll do all capitals turn the caps lock off and then we're gonna hit OK all right now what that'll do is now that you see that this is simplex in here it's saved okay let's go back over to our channel we can minimize the digital let's go into channel and as you can see it changed it into the contact we can even uh, double click that and it's a simplex group 99 so you do have to create it as a tall group okay you also can create your own talk group using your seven digit uh, personal DMR ID okay and how that works is <coughs> as you could see here and uh, I don't mind sharing this information with YouTube and if you'd ever like to join my DMR net on Saturday evenings at 7 p.m. you will need to program my personal ID in as a talk group so when you go in here to contact talk group you can name the talk group whatever you want I have it as my call sign so I know it's my talk group a lot of locals call it the wonder net and let me turn this down real quick because they're about to have a net meeting here my local repeater so uh, I, d I just name it after my call sign and this is my talk group ID now here's where it's important if you want to use your talk your ID as a group call you have to specify group I don't know what all call is yet hopefully we can research that and figure that out together but if you do private private is basically mainly used in hotspot okay hotspot situations where you're going through your hotspot you want to talk to another hand privately without everybody hearing your conversation you use the private call and as I explained in other videos before that uh, you know there's not a whole lot there with uh, with um, what was I gonna say repeaters in your local area that'll support private talk groups or private calls per se I don't even believe our repeater supports private call but you can use your seven digit ID as a group call on some repeaters other some repeaters don't support it so you could check with your local repeater trustee and find out but I do know that our local DMR repeater here in Frederick Maryland under K3DO that does support personal talk group group call DMR IDs so there you go that's a uh, one way to create those talk groups and 99 <coughs> was not imported off of the import list so other than that guys I uh, I really don't have much to say um, yeah that was just a uh, quick update video and um, just wanted to uh, share that with you this morning since I I feel kind of bad that that was one important piece of information um, you can also use that program that part of the program if you meet a new ham and it's just his ID that comes up on your radio you can use that part of the programming software to you know type in his DMR ID his or her DMR ID name and whatever information you want to put in there that way when they finally contact you again it's gonna be hard for you to memorize all those numbers so you won't have to memorize those numbers it'll memorize it for you with the name and you know their DMR ID and it'll allow you even to put in the location and all that so um, other than that not much else to say and I hope you guys have a good Friday uh, it's been a beautiful day so far sun's out uh, bringing in plenty plenty of light for the uh, video today and uh, <clears throat> as always if anybody has requests or uh, any comments or any criticism go ahead and leave it in the comments below I'm welcoming all criticism and comments so 
Y'all have a fine day. And uh, we'll see you again soon. This is KC3QPJ saying 7-3. Have a good weekend.